Ron Goldman's autopsy report reveals just how brutal his death really was, but it also shows that he fought hard against the person who killed him. In 1994, Goldman was 25 years old and working as a waiter at the Metzaluna restaurant in the Brentwood neighborhood of Los Angeles. On the evening of June 12th, Nicole Brown Simpson, the ex-wife of football legend O.J. Simpson, came to eat at the restaurant with some friends and family. Later that night, both she and Goldman would be found dead outside of her house just a few blocks away. The two were found stabbed to death in a brutal and bloody crime scene. Nicole's ex-husband, O.J., was charged with their murders and put on trial. He was famously acquitted on October 3, 1995, after a lengthy trial that became the media event of the year. After the verdict, Ron's father, Fred Goldman, said, I deeply believe that this country lost today. Justice was not served. Some observers at the time theorized that Nicole Brown Simpson and Ron Goldman were in a romantic relationship, but all that was ever confirmed was that the two had become friends over the previous few months. According to the Associated Press, he was at Nicole's house because he volunteered to return a pair of glasses she left behind at the restaurant. Investigators concluded that Goldman's death was sadly collateral damage. There was no question about the method by which Nicole and Goldman were killed. They had clearly been stabbed, but an autopsy report revealed quite a few details the public didn't previously know. The Los Angeles Medical Examiner's autopsy on Goldman took place on June 14th. According to autopsy files, the report specified that Goldman was stabbed multiple times with a sharp object, and the gruesome details demonstrated just how depraved his murderer was. Goldman endured stab wounds over nearly his entire body. He had injuries to his neck, face, ears, chest, thigh, hands, forearm, and abdominal area. The autopsy report highlighted that while some of these injuries could have been non-fatal on their own, the stab wounds to his neck and torso were what ultimately led to his death. The coroner noted that there was damage to a major neck vein as well as his lung. The internal bleeding that Goldman had in his abdomen also left critical wounds. The reports also revealed that Goldman did not die without a fight. The coroner noted that Goldman had dozens of defensive wounds, mostly found on his hands, face, and upper body. These discoveries indicated that he fought hard to live. He was clearly trying to parry the knife. He suffered a number of stab wounds. Though O.J. was acquitted in his criminal trial, the Goldman and Brown families did win a wrongful death lawsuit against the former football star in 1997. The two families were awarded $33.5 million. Fred Goldman has repeatedly said in interviews that O.J. never paid either family a penny in the judgment. 